Howdy doody caregivers. <laughs> it is Wednesday morning. Today is July 3rd, 2019. Tomorrow we celebrate Independence Day. Have you bought your fireworks? Well, you might want to think about fireworks around our folks with dementia, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. I would like to thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. You can find them at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube, Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad day for a good story. I agree with that. And also Editor Beth. She is amazing at editing, copyright, copywriting, whatever it is you've written, whether it be in form on paper or on the internet, on your website, you need her. Reach her at Editor Beth, www.editorbeth.com. And also HD Imports at Flint Street Extension, 803-985-0985. Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Toyota, and Acura Repair and Maintenance. I am getting so good at saying all those. Aren't y'all proud of me? <laughs> I'm proud of me. Well, today I wanted to talk with you maybe a little bit about what you're going to do for July 4th. Uh, the noise that you might be making and how it might affect your loved one with dementia. So what I know in my mama's journey as I was traveling that with her for 13 years, that as her dementia progressed, more and more she became confused. Well, of course that's true because as I've told you, the brain is being destroyed it, little by little. It's being eaten away until at the point of my mom's death, approximately one third of her brain was all that was left two-thirds of her brain had left her body. So when you take that into account, you think about it, that would explain why people are confused. Now, that confusion um, plays out in lots of ways. It, it, it manifests, manifests itself as dementia, but it affects our mood and how we react to life in a lot of ways. I want you to think about a time in your life when you were just really confused. Maybe you were trying to balance the checkbook, so yesterday, I'm balancing the company checkbook. Now it has to balance, right? It balances every month. And I use an app on my computer called Debit and Credit. That's the name of the app. It's driving me bonkers crazy. I balanced it. Every single thing in my account had cleared except for July expenses, which PS, they should not have cleared by now. Everything was checked off the bank statement. I was still like $138 off. How could that be? So I thought, wait a minute, this happened once before. I X'd out of the program, you know, signed out of the program, went right back into it, and it came up and said, your account's balanced. <laughs> it's a glitch in the program about making me crazy. Mass confusion. My brain was like, I don't know what to do. Everything's cleared. Everything's checked off. I can't make a mistake in the math because the computer does it. Uh, uh. I told Michael, I said, I just don't know what to do to fix this but I have to fix it. I cannot turn it into my bookkeeper not balanced. I can just see me telling the board, well, I didn't balance the checkbook. Mass confusion, it was frustrating me. It was making me just a little bit agitated. You know, I'll never get agitated. So that's what I was dealing with. You've done that. You've had those things that just you just did not know what to do to fix it. And no matter what you did, it got worse. Now, <clears throat> it's a little bit of what it's like to have dementia. I want to amplify that for you, and I'm using that word amplify in a really real way. I want, to ma want you to imagine that confusion. I want you to imagine what that felt like. And then I want you to add this on top of it. Has no higher or more enduring quality than peace by the sword. So here you are trying to think. There can be no peace. And there's all this noise in the background. And you're thinking these people would just shut up, I might could think. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know what I want to eat. No, I don't want to play bingo. Leave me alone. Was that fun? It wasn't fun for me, and I knew I was going to do it. That's a little bit of what it's like. N noise, noise, people, movement. Uh, uh, go, do, leave me alone, would you please? I can't take it. Ah! That's a little bit of what it's like. So when you're working with your loved one who has dementia today and they get a little agitated and eh, maybe a little bit not so easy to get along with, heck, that might be why. They are dealing with all of this going on. Hyperstimulation is not good. Think about that if you're going to do fireworks tonight. You just might want to change your mind. 
consider the effect it might have on your loved one if there's all that noise going on outside. You know what it does to animals. Animals can't take it, right? Think about that too. Think about what it does to people with PTSD, that sound of explosion in the background when they've just come back from Iraq, or maybe they were in Vietnam. It's scary. It brings back thoughts that are not happy. And with our folks with dementia, it's just noise, noise, noise. It's not, oh, look at the beautiful lights coming down. That's not what they see. So I want you to think about that and be cognizant of that when you are using these fireworks around your loved one and who lives around you that it might have a negative effect. I just took all the fun out of your fireworks show, didn't I? But I'm a little more concerned about the well-being of your people, of the LOs in your world, than I am your fireworks show. Just saying. It's a tough thing. I can tell you that my mama would just say, I'm just so confused. I'm just so confused. I just can't figure it out. I don't know why my nose is itching so much lately. And she would say that her mind just felt cluttered. She would use that word. My mind feels cluttered. I don't like clutter. I'm a very neat, organized, kind of freaky organized person. And right now, my house is boxed up. There's either bo filled boxes or empty boxes waiting for our move. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. It is driving me a little bit bonkers. I like organized. The draperies hanging just right. The pictures being straight on the wall. Not this mess that I'm living with right now. It makes me a little agitated. So for someone with dementia, that little bit of agitation that you and I would just work through is a big old hairy deal. They can't take it. That's why most church services are too much for our folks with dementia because there's so much going on. You know, somebody's play, getting something out of their purse or they're opening a piece of candy or they're turning the pages of their Bible or the drummer's up there or heaven forbid the lights are flashing. If you are having anything to do with the church service that has flashing lights, you need to rethink that. There's about 79 reasons that people don't respond well to those flashing lights, and dementia is one of them. It's not a good thing. Don't do flashing lights at church. Just don't do that. But we've got words on the screen, and we've got the drummers, and, and then somebody's got to go to the bathroom, and we're standing up, and we're sitting down, and we're standing up, and we're sitting down. And by the time about 20 minutes of this goes on, your person with dementia is having an anxiety attack, and they got to leave. Hmm, maybe us church officials, we need to think about that. Yeah, you sure do. That's why I'm working with Trinity United Methodist Church in Gastonia, North Carolina, as they transition into becoming a church for folks with dementia. That kind of stuff's not going to go on there. It'll be a very comfortable setting for them. Happy to be a part of that. If you need help with that for your church, then let's talk about it. That's I'm here for you, honey. We're going to make that one happen. Keep the environment calm. Keep it happy, keep it upbeat, and not so loud. Not so much going on. That's the other reason. Family gatherings, the whole fam damnly, you know, about the whole fam damnly. You get the whole fam damnly together, it's loud, it's too much. Yes, mama would probably enjoy seeing the grandchildren, but not if all the children, all the grandchildren, all the great-grandchildren, and the greasy grandma's there too. It's too much. Don't do it. Too much mass confusion in the brain. Oh, I think about the little boy on Home Alone, you know, he would do that. <laughs> you don't want your, your LO, you don't want your LO experiencing that. So don't do it. Okay, that's my tip for today. So that's about all I have for you today. I'm going to keep you just a short amount of time. The um, show is a little bit shorter than usual because, well, I kind of got a lot I need to go get done. <laughs> and my desk is going away today and I have no clue how I'm going to be able to do my work without my desk. But I sold it. So that's the way it goes. But I hope that in your caregiving journey that you will use the tips that we share with you and that they help you. Write me and let me know what's going on. I'm happy to hear from you and I will write you back. If you need for me to call you, give me your phone number and I will call you back. And my email is carol at letstalkdementia.org. Go to iTunes and find us there. We're on Spotify. Look up Let's Talk Dementia there. Just found out our podcast is now in 74 countries. Oh yeah, we're growing. We're going to hit 100 countries one day. Now that's going to be happy. I don't know why it's going to make me so happy, but it is. <laughs> so you'll find us there. Go to letstalkdementia.org and you will find everything we offer right there as well as a way for you to donate to help finance our ministries. And I thank you for doing that. Our ministries are supported 
basically by donations. We have very few things that we charge for, so we work by donations, and we thank you for helping to bring about the good word that God's got us. He's taking care of us, even in the face of dementia, but he wants us to learn how to take the best care as we can of our LOs. Well, thank you to our sponsors, um, Honda, uh, no, HD Imports, I'll get it right. HD Imports at Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina, 803-985-0985. Life in the Carolinas at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com. And Beth Crosby at editorbeth.com. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope that you enjoy your long weekend. Don't you love that July 4th is falling on a Thursday? And you can take Thursday and Friday off and have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're not going to be worth a flip on Monday. But you come back Monday at 8.15 and join me. Let's see. I'll tell you what we're going to be talking about because I just happen to have a plan. Monday. Oh, we're going to be talking about uncomfortable clothing. Whew, boy, I can tell you about that. And I'm going to. Monday. See you then. Happy July 4th.